Hey you guys! In this video, I'm going to be doing a tap and scratch through of a sports themed shop called Decathlon. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm starting in this section with some flippers and different uh, different items for either going scuba do scoop scuba doobing that's great scuba diving um or what's it called snorkeling things like that we've got some water shoes here lots of different options so the prices you see are in egyptian pounds nice picture there. I've gone um, snorkeling before and I had to wear, I didn't have to, but they advised to wear these kind of flippers. I really did enjoy it. I felt like it hindered me more. <laughs> Maybe that's just me though. I've never gone scuba diving and I don't plan to. I do not like the idea of being that far underwater with the oxygen tank being like all these ones. Freaks me out. Has anyone been scuba diving before? So yeah, I would have preferred the snorkeling with like just just goggles in fact, not even like the um, face mask that you can breathe through. I think I just prefer because I felt like kind of stuck with all the things that were on me. I wanted just goggles and that'd be it. So here we've got some pool noodles and this one's kind of fun. I've never seen a pool noodle like this but it's like squishy filled with air. So um, what we've done, so I did a video recently, it was an Ikea walkthrough and I shared with you that my boyfriend, who started an ASMR channel recently, and I think he's killing it, I love it, um, he did an Ikea walkthrough also, so we kind of like um, collaborated, I guess you could say, and did different parts of the store. So we did the same thing for this video, we were filming in the same store together. It's been kind of fun because when I go to film, we can go together and just like film in different parts so anyway I'm going to link his um, his version below it's just like tapping through a different part of the store than I did there might be a little overlap but um, I'll link that below and I'll try to post it on the community tab too trying to encourage him and show him some love back because he has done so much for this channel I can't even tell you <laughs> he's helped me with all the compilation videos you guys so anyway, and, and tons of other things. So you can check that out. This is some water bottles. I guess these are what for bikes. They're kind of tiny, but you can see they have like a hook for the bikes. Little baskets that you can, they've all sorts of like accoutrements <laughs> for bikes. This is a rollerblade. So rollerblading has gotten really, really popular in Egypt. Um, in the evenings, you can see essentially like groups of typically teenagers, you know, skating around through the streets and they kind of, it's like they move in like a pack almost. And then you can also see in a lot of locations like just friends getting together like near, um, it's <laughs> can't really call it a park because you can't really go into it but there's some areas that are park like <laughs> and um or like along the sea where they have these kind of flat sidewalks along there and people will often be practicing rollerblading there and it's becoming a big thing I don't know how long it's been a big thing here for but I've started to notice it quite a lot here are some really bright fun coloured shoes these for soccer? I'm not entirely sure. Mm. 
you guys let me know if there's a fish soccer or what's called football in many parts of the world this for kids some little velcro options yeah these look like I think they're called cleats, right? For soccer, for football. I'm probably getting it all wrong. <laughs> I don't play sports, you guys. However, lots and lots of people around me do, so I should probably know. But I don't. I love the colour and the design on these. They're not loud enough, though. So these are my natural nails here. Um, and I've been enjoying them and I think you guys enjoy them too here and there but um, yeah I, I do like the sound of the fake nails that I use when it comes to stuff like this you can hear it better but these are still nice and I'm trying to kind of alternate different kinds of nails over here T A R M A K Tarmac So when you see a sign that says 1000 Egyptian pounds for example that's worth something like 30 three US dollars, something like that at the moment. I haven't looked at the exchange rate too recently, but it's been changing quite a lot. In fact, when I first moved to Egypt about two years ago, 1,000 pounds was equal to 60 US dollars. So it's almost half of that now. And that's not good for Egypt. I'm hoping that changes and that number goes back up where 1,000 pounds is equal to more than 30 US dollars so that just gives you an idea as you see the prices listed in Egyptian pounds basketball rim some of the nice foam they've wrapped it in Looks like Tarmac is a popular sports company. I've never heard of it before. Do we have Decathlon in the US? Because I've, I've never seen it in the US. Um, but we realized that we think it's in Europe as well. These are some weights that I think for putting on the uh, base of the basketball hoop, that's my guess. They've got a whole section for bandages and things that you can use for injuries that you might have, which is great. I love things like this. I've had to wear several of these <laughs> before. For ankle injuries but for dance so they've got a little golfing section here they really have all the sports covered in this shop clubs here. Do any of you guys like to golf? So you guys know that I'm a dancer and I always wonder why, I mean dance is considered an art but I feel like it should 
overlap with the sport. I feel like it should also be considered some so athletic and um, yeah, especially like ballet, for example. My goodness, the athleticism you have to have to do that is way up there. <laughs> My primary forms uh, of dance are um, more hip hop and lyrical. Uh, I guess you could say some forms of contemporary. I've done ballet before but it's not my favorite but it is extremely challenging athletically so I get why it's called an art but I feel like it should be a sport also is there like a difference between sports and games because I feel like golfing when I saw the golfing before it made me think of this like golfing definitely takes precision and athleticism but significantly less athleticism than dancing, for example. And so I always wonder, you know, if there's some other word than sport, like a game, sports, I don't know. I feel like there should be a few more categories in there. <laughs> what do you guys think? Any opinions on that? I'm curious. So these are skateboards, they've all got different designs on the bottom, I like this one the most. Lots of different textures, that's good I think to keep your shoes, you know, firmly on the board. I think skateboard team looks like it would be so fun. So I did not get to do any um, Valentine's Day videos this year because I'm in France and traveling and doing things and didn't really get the chance to do that but did any of you do anything fun to celebrate Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day? <laughs> Seriously so fun hanging out with girlfriends on Valentine's Day watching movies talking chatting eating great food it's actually Quite brilliant. <laughs> this one's got some fun designs. I like the texture on this one. I just do wish I had my fake nails on for this shop actually because of all these great textures. You can't hear it as well with my real nails. Still nice, but the tapping sounds good, but sometimes the scratching you can't really here the way that you can with the fake ones. This is nice though, this has got the section with backpacks. There were there were more than I think it was more than once that my boyfriend uh, came up to me and surprised me and like scared me, teasingly of course, while filming because he was in different parts of the store and sometimes I would hear him like <laughs> I'd be filming focus and he'd come and like you know tickle me or something or say something <laughs> so I have a few bloopers for this <laughs> from this video to say the least <laughs> I'm compiling my bloopers <laughs> together uh, I had accidentally erased a bunch from I don't know maybe seven plus months ago it was an accident it was because I was using my Google photos I was um, 
trying to get rid of some of the photos I had on, on Google Photos to get more space and um, I usually put a heart on the videos that are for bloopers so I don't erase them when I'm going through my photos but I had moved some of them over to uh, Google Photos like kind of like the cloud sort of thing and um, I didn't have the hearts on them there and I accidentally erased them. And when you erase it from there, it erases it from your photos. So anyhow, I've been, um, I think it's like the last seven months, I've still been compiling them. Six months maybe, maybe a little less. can't remember when I realized I wanted to put out a bloopers reel for you guys. And new, close to New Year's, because I had done that last year. But that's when I realized I had erased so many. But I'll try to get that out to you guys once enough time has passed and I have lots of video bloopers for you guys to put together. So lots of different shoes for women, men, kids in decathlon. I think these are just simple like they looked like just simple I don't know running shoes, walking shoes. Now we've got some sandals here Kind of entering like a more beachy section so got lots of cute styles of sandals and they've got bathing suits but we'll start with these lots of options and designs here i've already i've got the pair of these at home they're really cheap here those simple ones are cheap these aren't probably as cheap they've got some athletic shorts for running i think i use these for dance too they're great and now they've got the swimsuits lots of cute options here so again that's like around 33 ish dollars Pretty good price for a bathing suit. And these look like they're probably really good quality. They've got some two pieces. Usually in the US when you purchase two pieces you pay for the bottom and the top separately. They don't really come as a pair. And they're quite expensive. They've got little nugget ones, little, the little ones. <laughs> Look at this little girl surfing. Good job. And little baby ones, little baby shorts, watermelons and sandals. Cute little baby things. <laughs> so cute. Nice designs, different options. So we're coming to the end of our decathlon tap through. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see yeah, some of the other things in the shop, I'll put a link to my boyfriend's video. He's like very aggressive tapping, scratching. So if you like that, go check it out. And thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.